Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. I'm Mel Mute. And today I was inspired by the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette to create a look that was peachy and neutral and um, kind of glam, but soft enough to wear for every day. I'm not wearing lashes or anything like that. So this is definitely wearable for every day. If you want to know how to create this look, then keep on watching. Hey, welcome to Montana. So I'm going to start off by priming my face. I'm going to be using the Becca Backlight Priming Filter and then this e.l.f. like mini stippling brush and I'm going to apply that. Oh! Oh my god, I just squirted up. Well, it's probably clogged and I got it all over. I'll just do that. I'm just going to apply that everywhere. Quite a generous amount. I'm going to let that set in for a second. And then I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I recently started using it and I am in love. So I'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand like so. I put like four pumps, whatever. That's as much as I need, so. And then going in with my Red Techniques Beauty Sponge. I'm gonna put that all over. And then I make sure I really blend out my nose because I hate having too much product on there. And then I'm gonna take my Tarte Shape and Tape Concealer to prep my eyelids. Putting quite a bit on there. Mm, cute. And then going back in with my sponge, gonna blend that out. Okay, now taking my um, Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. I'm gonna use this for eyeshadow today, for my whole eyeshadow look. I'm gonna go in with White Peach, which is this shade right here. Focusing right there, and then this Sigma E40 brush just to apply that shade all over my crease. I made my lid to set that um, concealer we just put down. Now, taking this shade of Georgia, which is this one, Georgia, I'm going in with that same brush and doing it, making my life really easy today. That same brush, and starting to use. <laughs> Using this as like a transition shade. That was my first transition shade. Just to warm up the eye a bit. I hope you could really see the color. Living next to an airport sucks. Okay, now taking my Morphe 433 brush, I'm gonna go in with Super Young. Summer Young, which is this one right here. I'm gonna take my Spectrum A07. It's this flat, pretty small brush right here. I'm gonna go in with the shade Luscious, which is a super pretty like champagne color, pearly color here. So good at describing shades. And I'm just like patting my brush into it and then applying that like on my lip. And again, I'm just taking that Sigma brush and Blending it out. So now I'm gonna go off camera and do my eyeliner and I'll bring it back. Okay, you guys already know the drill. I'm gonna go in with my Becca Undry Brightening Corrector. I still don't know the name of this, and I've said so many times. Um, and my sponge, and I'm just gonna dip that right into the pod. With a little tip, and then go right underneath my eyes with this. Just to brighten a little bit. I feel like my eyes are like extra dark today. Next, I'm gonna go in with this little guy. Um, it's the Clinique Chubby in the Nude Foundation Stick. I haven't used this all that much, so I'm a little bit nervous because I don't really know if it's gonna blend out the way I want it to and stuff, so I'm just gonna warm it up on the back of my head. It's pretty orange. I don't know if I should use this. I'm gonna use it anyway. Let's see how it goes. So we'll need to do like a little bit. Okay, I just want it a little bit. And then I'm gonna try to buff it out with the Morphe E6 brush. Now that I got that down, I'm gonna go in with concealer and I'm gonna use the chart shape and tape again. I'm not gonna highlight or anything like that. I'm just gonna conceal today. Just a little bit. And then blending it out with this guy again. Okay, now to set the rest 
my whole face and the rest of my face. I'm gonna use the Bare Minerals Bare Pro um, Performance Wear Powder Foundation. I don't know why the names of these things are so long, but it's just um, a powder foundation without SPF. And it's like super HD. It reminds me of the um, Make It Forever HD powder that I also have. This one's just better for your skin or whatever. But I find that this powder is the best to set over this foundation. This is my favorite combo ever. Well, it's my favorite combo for now. This is my Morphe Geo brush. This beauty right here is the Bare Minerals, the Deep End, my favorite bronzer, one of my favorite bronzers ever. It's definitely my top three. Um, oh, super pigmented, I forgot, and now I'm like orange. This is the Morphe 527. This is my favorite bronzer brush. I'm just taking this stippling brush that's clean and blending that out a little. I'm gonna go in with the Morphe 510 brush. It's just like this little highlighter brush. And I'm gonna spray it again with the Mari Badescu Rose Water Spray. Um, I usually don't like spray my highlighter brush, but I feel like with this palette, I have to. I don't know what it is about it, but this is the um, Glow Kit and Back Glow by Anastasia Burgundy Hills. And I'm gonna take um, these two colors. It's called Sunburst and Bubbly. And I'm gonna mix these two together for my highlight today. Now taking this super small like precision eyeshadow brush, it's the um, Precision Eye Brush by Bare Minerals. You can take just like any really small detailer brush. Brush and then going in with Sunburst, I'm gonna highlight like the bridge of my nose. The tip of my nose. My Cupid's bow. My Cupid's bow, I'm like hella extra about. I literally like it to be like up into the max, and then um, the underneath of my eyebrow. And I'm gonna go in with the Modern Mandarin blush by MAC. It's so pretty, it's one of my favorite blushes. And then this is my um, Spectrum A05. Look how nice that complements the eyes. I don't even know what the point of doing my eyebrows is when they're they're really bushy, I'm growing them out. But I'm just gonna fill them in a teeny tiny bit. And then I did elongate them a little bit just because I do have a wing going on, and I don't want my wing to be longer than my eyebrows. I'm just brushing them up, and then I do want to set them with a little bit of brow gel. So I'm gonna go in with the Honest Elsie Beverly Hills brow gel. Stuff makes them really shiny. I don't really know how to do that. And I'm just brushing them up to give them like that really fluffy effect. Before I do lips, I'm gonna apply a little bit of the Mario Badescu spray all over my face. I should have done this before mascara, but I completely forgot. Hopefully, it doesn't ruin it. I'm not like gonna look up or anything because I don't want to ruin my mascara. Now I'm gonna take the um, MAC World Lipstick. It's one of my newbies. I'm totally in love and I'm just gonna apply a little bit to my lips. I'm not even gonna line them. I'm just gonna use like the shape of the lipstick to do that. And then, of course, I'm gonna put a little bit of lip gloss on top of that. This one is, um, from the Sephora collection. It's in Perfect Nude. It is the perfect nude. Okay guys, that was the completed look. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, I would appreciate a like, subscribe if you want to keep watching my videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.